What if there were errors in your Bible? What if intentional changes were made? Would you want to know the truth? Would you want the Bible to be corrected from corruption? Many of these corruptions of Scripture are in Genesis. Let's talk about the genealogy of Genesis. Specifically, let's look at Genesis 10:24. Genesis 10:24, and Arphaxad begat Salah, and Salah begat Heber. Now, let's take a look, juxtaposed to the older Septuagint version of Genesis 10:24. Genesis 10:24, Septuagint, and Arphaxad begat Canaan, and Canaan begat Salah, and Salah begat Heber. There used to be an extra generation in Genesis 10:24. The generation of Canaan, also known as the controversial second Canaan of Genesis. Even though he is missing in most Bibles with the New Testament. He does appear once in the genealogy of Luke, in the New Testament. Luke 3.36, the son of Canaan, the son of Arphaxat, the son of Shem, the son of Noah, the son of Lamech. I trust the genealogy of Luke for one main reason. Luke lists 77 generations from Adam to Jesus. This is the same number of generations that the book of Enoch said would be. From Adam, to the Son of Man. I also trust that there should be 24 generations in Genesis, from Adam to Joseph. Clearly the Genesis story canonized Adam, Noah, Abraham, Jacob, and last. Is the story of Joseph the last to clearly receive a birthright from his father. Without the second Canaan, in Genesis 10:24, there is only 23 generations from Adam to Joseph. I believe there must be 24 generations of birthright, handed down from Adam to Joseph. Why am I sure? Because it clearly says in the last book of the Bible, Revelation, that there are 24 elders. Revelation 4:4, 4, 4, and round about the throne were four and twenty seats, and upon the seats, I saw four and twenty elders sitting. Who are the oldest people in the Bible? The twenty-four generations of Genesis from Adam to Joseph. The twenty-four elders. When second Canaan is placed back into the genealogy of Genesis, he is the thirteenth generation. The thirteenth letter of any Semitic language, is also the numeric denomination of forty. The first ten letters are one through ten. Then the eleventh is twenty, the twelfth is thirty, and the thirteenth is forty. The original thirteenth letter of the pictograph alphabet, was removed. This was originally, a pictograph of a hammer. The sound of the letter was da, 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 like the sound of a hammer striking iron upon an anvil. Was the letter removed at the same time as Second Canaan was removed? What do you think? Does this make sense to you? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Check out the book series, The 24 Elders and a Little Scroll. Here is the link. Thanks again.